Right guys, for you who know me, I'm Pete Walker, I do the vlogs on YouTube. Now this isn't a vlog, this is a kind of different video, but this is just something that I wanted to share with you guys at home and the people that watch me on almost a daily basis. And don't worry, I will be uploading a vlog as well, which is a family vlog. Um, and that's coming up a bit later tonight, so yeah. So the gist of this first video that I'm putting up this evening, this is a different kind of video for me. Um, this is more of like a, um, what I would call a how-to video. So a lot of people I know can sometimes find themselves in a job that they're not happy in and they can get a little bit beaten up and a little bit down about it. And, you know, I, I've been in that situation as well. I've had that many a times. Um, and basically, I decided that enough was enough and that I was going to have to have a change. First question, um, somebody said to me the other day, okay, so I'm not happy in my job, what can I do about it? How can I get out? I'm in a gardening job now and I want to start my own business. And I said, okay, cool. Well, have you got a budget in mind? Have you got any money in savings? Have you got anything like that? And they said, no, not really. And I said, okay, that's fine. Because when I set up my business, I had nothing. You know, it was it was hard, you know. I was working for someone else. But I came up with a plan. I knew that this was going to be hard. And I knew it was going to not be instantly um, successful. So what you have to do, right. I'm just going on what I did, okay. It was November of last year. And I was very, very unhappy it was a tough time we went through um a loss in the family we lost um cheryl's nan to terminal cancer and it was a horrible horrible time for the whole family i needed time off to go to the funeral but i heard stories from other staff members at that time saying that the boss is saying this and he's saying that and he's not happy about you going and that I shouldn't be going to the funeral because I wasn't part of the family properly and I don't know there were there were things being said I didn't know what to believe to be honest but I kind of thought to myself right okay well I'm not too happy I'm in a bit of a dark place at the moment and I feel like I've given as much as I can possibly give to this firm I think it's time for me to, to pull the plug and go it alone. But I can't afford to pull the plug now. This was in November. So what I did, I worked November, December, January, February. I did another four months with this company. And I saved. I saved a little bit of money each month. It wasn't a lot, but it was a little. And I had targets and I had... I had visions, I knew where I wanted to go and I knew I had to get there. But the only way I was going to get there is if I was sensible. So what I did was, I went, okay, I've got to get to March, I've got to have a van, I've got to have tools, hand tools, power tools, you know, all that sort of stuff, and a van, and a client base. Now if I can get all them things by March, then at the end of March, I'm going to walk away from this firm and I'm going to go straight into my own business and it panned out just how I planned it okay I spent my money wisely between November and March every single month I bought a piece of equipment something I needed November I got a backpack blower December I bought a strimmer and a hedge cutter and a chainsaw and then in January I bought myself a lawnmower but I bought it because it was cheaper to buy it then. Even if you buy them on eBay, it's a great time to be buying mowers and stuff ready for the spring because you know that people have to sell them cheaper. Good little tip for you there. So it got to March. I handed my notes in. I worked through. And I had, a jo I had another job to go to. I had my own business. I spent roughly... £500 on a van. Now, you're very lucky if you can get a van for £500, but I did. I bought a van for £500. It had 70,000 miles on the clock, 70,000 genuine miles. It was an absolute bargain. A bit beaten up on the side, but engine-wise, mechanically sound. All I've done since then is put new tyres on it, get it through an MOT, and done all the, the basic things, really. The, the cosmetics on the outside of the van, they don't matter. It carries my stuff to my jobs, and... Um, it's perfect, it's everything I needed. Um, but I would say 
so far i haven't looked back i i've loved being free i've not had a boss looking over me making sure that i'm working to the grindstone 24 7. not that i wouldn't slack anyway because i'm not a bad person i get up i work hard and I keep my clients happy and that's how it should be. If you want a successful business, you have to work hard. So I know that the second I slack off or I'm not giving 110%, then things are gonna go terribly wrong for me. So my best advice to everyone is work really, really hard. If you get yourself into a position where you've got your business, you've got your van, you've got your tools, and that's if you're just becoming a gardener, you might become a plasterer or a builder or something like that. But whatever you decide to do, Give it 110% and you won't fail. You have to. You have to believe in yourself and not let that fear hold you back. Fear is a bad thing, you know. Everyone has these anxieties and these worries about what if it fails, you know, am I going to have no money? Yeah, there's going to be tough times when, you know, I have tough months now. Cash flow is a big thing for me. If, if the cash isn't always there or people don't pay on time, then it can affect me really, really bad. Um, but yeah, you know what, you get through the tough times and you keep plodding on and you keep trying really, really hard and, um, take it from me, you will succeed. So I really, really hope that kind of what I've just said has, um, you know, it's helped you guys out. You know, if you are thinking of doing your own business, believe you me, you can and you will succeed. Just I say, don't let that fear get in the way. And um, don't let anybody say you can't. This, the only person that will stop you from being successful is yourself. Don't listen to the haters. Don't listen to the naysayers. Don't listen to anyone that says you can't do anything in life. You can do what you want, when you want. Be your own boss. Be free and go for it, okay? Just go for it. You can be successful. And um, the rest will be history. <sighs> So that's my little story as to how I did my business. I really hope it works for you. Please let me know in the comments below and um, please check out our vlogs as well. This is kind of gonna be in the vlog channel, um, but please um, let me know how you get on. I really, really hope you guys are gonna be successful. Um, so yeah, cheers for watching. And I wish you guys all the very best with whatever business venture you go for. I will support you all the way. Just go for it and um, try to give other people the good advice that I've given you today. Mm -hmm.